Hello everyone and welcome back to new video. Six months ago we built together this application to learn how to use Recycler View. And today I'm going to rebuild this application using Jetpack Compose features. Uh, like lazy column. If you want to learn it, let's go. For this I have created three arrays. The first one for the images, second one for the names and third one for the ingredients. And I have passed all of them to the my app composable function. Here I'm going to add a lazy column. We don't need this. And here I'm going to write content padding. Okay. In the last video, I showed you how to use uh, items function. Just like this. And I told you uh, any value that we are passing here, for example, number five, in the return, it will give us uh, numbers from zero to five. Actually, I can say it will be divided into pieces. If, for example, I'm passing array inside it, in the return, I will have like, for example, if I pass this uh, array, the names in the return, uh, these pieces, I mean the different parts of this array, uh, different values, will be stored one by one into the return function. Uh, and I told you how to pass uh, the arrays into it and use it in the lazy column. Today we will use another way, which is the, uh, let's say, uh, a standard approach to this. I'm going to create a value, call it item count, and equals to size of one of these arrays. All of them are equal, so no matter which one you choose. Item ID dot size. And as you can see here, uh, each array has uh, six variables, so the size will be six and i'm going to pass this item count here now in the return i have numbers from uh, 0 to 5 which are equal to the indexes of uh, this array so let's use it now i'm going to create a function and then i have to pass some values here First of all, item index, and it is equal to it. This it is written function of uh, this items function. And if I want, I can change the name of it. So just like that, item Then I need uh, to pass this uh, arrays here. So painter equals to image ID, then title equals to names equals to ingredients. And uh, at the end, I'm going to pass the modifier here. Now let's create this function. Okay, here we have it. I'm going to pass enter, enter, enter. And here. So I have the item index and I have all of the arrays and the modifier. So uh, we have to create uh, the layout here and then we will pass the data into the elements of the layout let's do it what do we need for the layout here we have the pictures in the single item and 
uh, then in the right side we have the name and uh, the uh, ingredients so it's a row in the left side first item of the row is the image and the second item of the row is a column and inside the column on the top i have the name and on the bottom i have the ingredients so we need one row and uh, one column and inside them let's start from the row uh, but before the row let's have a card to make it better inside the card i'm going to use the modifier that we passed here and dot padding and here 10 dot dp then dot wrap content size okay now uh, i need to change the color of it colors equal to card defaults dot card colors container color equals to white okay and let's have elevation for it card defaults that card elevation and here 10 tp that's it for card and then here now let's have the row modifier dot uh, fill max width vertical alignment alignment top horizontal arrangement arrangement space by 15 dot tp that's good okay now inside the row we are going to use image the image has a painter and the content description so here we have to set the data we need the painter uh, resource and inside it as the id i'm going to pass the painter which is our array here and then the index number here item index okay and here as the content description we need a string value so here i can pass the title and item index just like this okay then we need the modifier dot size and 140 dp is enough okay after the image we need a column and here modifier dot padding 12 dp now a text title item index and let's have some changes in the font font weight bold font size uh, 24.sp 
importing SPs and duplicate it instead of title ingredients and I don't want it to be bold and here 18 SP is enough I think we are done here let's check it on emulator okay here we have our pizzas located into the cards and the view is so beautiful and looks great uh, if you want to use lazy row it's just as simple as it is in the lazy color let's check it again Here you have it in a lazy row. You just need to change the rows and the columns in the uh, layout design and to make it better looking. So that was everything about uh, a practical example using lazy column and lazy row using the standard structure. So if you are satisfied of this content, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do it right now, please. And uh, please hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos. If you have any comment, question, suggestion, write down below in the comment box. And I will be so happy to answer to your questions. The source code are available into the description box. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Bye-bye.